Have you ever wondered who Warden really is? For sure, but each of the players has their own theory on this score. This mob has become a symbol of a new update. It's time to figure out who Warden is, why he lives underground in ancient cities and how he appeared at all, why does he need souls in his chest and what is his main goal? Kill the players or is he guarding something valuable in the ancient city? This is a very interesting and multifaceted mob, whose behavior is undisclosed to us. Abilities by the type of spraying the darkness effect, and the mysterious history of the creation of this mob remains a secret until now. Sit down comfortably with you robot and we begin Minecraft theory. 500 hearts of health is a direct fat hint from the developers that Warden should be the boss in the usual dimension, because the desiccant is an exceptionally hellish boss, the edge dragon belongs only to the end dimension, and in the ordinary world, someone who inspires fear in the players was needed. A boss with health equal in amount to the dragon of the edge and the desiccant combined did not become a boss at all. Warden has become a first class hunter of all living things. Previously, different factions of the Minecraft civilization somehow got along together and did not pose any threat to each other. Now the added organic rolling pin has become the enemy of all living things. In each mob, the guardian sees a potential victim, tries to kill everyone. He has several types of attacks, special abilities that give a strong advantage in battle. He was literally created to hunt for all living things, but Warden was presented to us as a natural disaster that the player does not have to try to summon, and if he did come, then run away faster. And this is a recommendation from the developers themselves. It may seem that they do not want the player to go underground at all, but they would not add a mob with such a detailed story, which I will tell you about now. To begin with, let's pay attention to what Warden consists of. A huge creature consisting of half of a rolling pin of matter, and the other half of white incomprehensible parts. These white parts are the bones. These bones are found in almost all rolling materials and there are a lot of explanations for this. Firstly, Warden is so tenacious only thanks to its strong skeleton, and secondly, too many creatures have been killed here and getting bones is not a problem. And this is also a statement from the developers themselves, they say that Warden is not an internac or other material, namely bones. In the middle of his torso has a huge hole the size of our player's head. Oddly enough, this hole leads directly to the heart, which is at least huge. And it also consists of souls. Because of its openness, we hear heartbeats from afar, even if Warden is not in sight and even he does not know about us, the beats are still audible. Only the sliding ribs protect the heart, which proves once again that the white parts are bones, after all, the ribs are, as it were, the bones they consist of. He is blind by himself, but this does not prevent him from having a keen sense of smell, excellent hearing, and monstrous strength. But why? Why would he kill our player? Who is Warden in itself? The answer should be sought in what falls from it. By killing the Guardian, you don't get any valuable item, you get a little experience and a rolling pin catalyst. The catalyst is famous for its greed of souls, absorbs them and multiplies. The developers, if they wanted, would have added as many valuable items from Warden as they wanted. But they left only one hint from which the rest of the theory will be built. With Warden, no bones fall out, no iron, nothing else but as a catalyst. This may mean that Warden is not a golem at all. At least it wasn't created by Piglin players or anyone else. It wasn't built by anyone, it wasn't designed, but it appeared out of nowhere, or did it take a lot of time? Warden is the development of the rolling pin organics itself, not a single mob in Minecraft is infected by the rolling pin, it only wants to multiply, multiply with the help of souls. Note that when Warden hits a player or another mob, he swings his arms from above and pulls them down and further into his chest. It may seem similar to a golem, but it's completely different there. Blows from the bottom up from himself blows, driving the player out of the village for bad actions. Warden, on the other hand, wants another, as if to absorb the player or mob he is hunting. Interestingly, it also turns out that he pulls all living creatures right into his chest, to where the heart consisting of souls beats. Now switch to rolling pin catalyst. The peculiarity of this item is that it is the source of all rolling pin in the whole world, even if the whole world is clean of this infection, just one catalyst is enough and the world will be infected again. There will be sensors, rolling pin summoners, new catalysts, and even Warden himself. The essence of this subject is to greedily absorb any experience that accumulates around. He pulls it to himself and due to this multiplies, increases the territory of his distribution, creates new items to summon the guardian. Also, the catalyst is a kind of repository of the soul or a repository of experience. If a lot of mobs died near the catalyst and there is a lot of experience in it, then you can break the catalyst by getting the accumulated experience. Doesn't it seem strange to you that Warden, killing mobs, each of which contains experience, tries to pull them into himself with his hands, just like a passive catalyst does? which also sucks souls into itself and which at the same time falls out of Warden. The conclusions push us to the fact that Warden is the catalyst, because both one and the other have the presence of bone. 
But what happened to the catalyst that he became a separate intelligent upright being? Warden's abilities don't end there. Unlike the silent block, which greedily absorbs a nearby soul, the Guardian even tries to say something. Warden is a product of the evolution of rolling pin organics. He literally took the best of all existing rolling pin materials and became what he is now. Sensitivity to sounds from the rolling pin sensor, a long-range attack with a sonic boom is taken from the rolling pin of the screamer and if the screamer releases a quiet call of the defender of the city, then Warden uses such a strong wave that this blow repels and kills the player. I was struck by a sonic boom, this is the description given by the developers of the attack, when Warden opens his ribs and shoots waves at the player. I, like most likely everyone else, initially thought that this is how he releases souls, but then the presence of a catalyst rolling pin in him said the opposite. For rolling pin organics, the first and most important thing is reproduction and they would never waste the accumulated souls. They need them for further expansion. Now let's explain what the darkness effect is and how it should be perceived in Minecraft. Most of the effects in the game are potions, but there are also natural effects and levitation type, this is the natural effect of shockers. The effects of darkness is also a natural effect belonging to the genus rolling pin. My assumption is that within a radius of a couple dozen guardian blocks, rolling pin spores are sprayed that negatively affect the character's mind. It's like scary sounds deep in caves, because of a long stay in the dark and lack of oxygen, strange sounds begin to appear and be heard. The situation is the same with darkness, any means are good for hunting if procreation and survival are at stake. What is Warden's true motivation? This question is also strongly related to another question. Why Warden kills everything that moves? The answer is simple and clear. Due to the fact that it is a product of the evolution of the sensor, the screamer, and the catalyst. He also craves to constantly absorb souls. Any mob that makes a sound, which means that it walks, has energy for walking, which means that this energy can be appropriated for reproduction. Any living creature that Warden is able to sense with the help of a scent also has experience, which means it needs to be killed. Warden is not the guardian of the city, it is just a convenient platform for the development of a rolling pin, where there is darkness and souls in lanterns. Warden is also not a keeper of silence. I have already said that silence in the city is not favorable conditions for life, it is favorable conditions for hunting. Warden is a forced measure of evolution, when the rolling pin grew and took over the whole city, and in order to move on, he had to start moving on his feet. You will say that it evolves terribly quickly, and I will answer you that yes, that's right. You ask me how we can stop it now, and I'll tell you that no matter how. Rolling pin organics went the way of universal destruction of all living things in the name of self-expansion and there were many reasons for this, but as a fact rolling pin multiplies at a monstrous rate. With the kind that created Warden and no one knows what it might lead to in the future. This is where my Warden theory has come to an end. Write your opinion about it in the comments. It will be interesting for me to read your theories. But also rate mine if you liked it. I tried. But I'm saying goodbye. There was a robot with you. Good luck to everyone. Bye bye to everyone.